Have you ever tried to tickle yourself and it just didn't work? You're not imagining it. The reason you can't really tickle yourself is your brain. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Ask Drift. If you love weird science questions, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our mind-blowing facts. When someone else tickles you, it feels surprising and uncontrollable. You laugh, squirm, and can't stop it. But when you try to tickle yourself, nothing really happens. That's because your brain already knows what's coming. Here's how it works. When you move your hand to tickle yourself, your brain sends a signal to your muscles. And at the same time, it sends a copy of that signal to the part of your brain that handles touch. This prediction tells your brain exactly what to expect. So it, the part of your brain responsible for this is the cerebellum. It compares what you expect to feel with what you actually feel. Since it matches perfectly, your brain cancels out the ticklish response. There are two types of tickling, the light, gentle kind that gives you goosebumps, and the intense kind that makes you laugh uncontrollably. The laughing kind only happens when someone else does it, because your brain needs the surprise factor. From an evolutionary point of view, if your brain reacted strongly to every touch you made yourself, like walking or scratching, you'd constantly be distracted. By filtering out self-made sensations, your brain saves attention for unexpected touches, which might be signs of danger. So next time you try to tickle yourself and it doesn't work, don't worry. It's not you, it's your brain doing exactly what it's designed to do. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious, stay curious with Ask Drift.